सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू दी वेब टेक्नोलॉजी लैब वीडियोस सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट असाइनमेंट नंबर 4 व्हेयर वी हैव टू इंप्लीमेंट PHP MySQL डेटाबेस एंड अजैक्स कंट्रोल्स सो वी विल डिस्कस द असाइनमेंट द स्टेप 1 सो इन स्टेप 1 वी हैव टू इंस्टॉल PHP MySQL एंड अपाचे वेब सर्वर एंड एज वेल एज PHP MyAdmin सो ऑलरेडी आई हैव आई हैव शो आई हैव रिकॉर्डेड वन वीडियो इन व्हिच आई आई हैव एक्सप्लेन the installation of these all, all these software so you can refer that video so after installation of apache web server just i will tell you in short what you have to do that is after installation of apache web server you have to go to your terminal in terminal you have to type sudo chmod triple seven you have to change the permission of your apache web server uh, container path so the container path is slash var slash ww slash html so this is the path where you, you have to store your web project so the path why why to change the path uh, why to change the permissions of this uh this directory that is html directory because now we are going to copy and paste uh, and edit the projects at this location so that purpose we will change the permissions here so enter okay now the permissions have been changed now we can directly go to that place will go in computers in computers in i will go in where in where i will go inside www so there is a html directory in html directory i will go and i will right click here i am able to create a new folder so i'll create a new folder and i'll give the name practical okay now inside this i can create the files and i can store that file and i can edit that files here okay so this you can do then now we'll come back now the second step is what that is you have to create database and a table with required fields inside it okay so there uh, with the help of php my admin we'll create a database and a table okay we'll go to the browser Firefox. Then here, how to launch Apache Web Server? You know that you have to type localhost, and then how to launch PHP My Admin slash forward slash, and then type PHP My Admin. And press enter. So this will launch a PHP My Admin login screen. Here you have to type your uh, MySQL username password. That is my uh, MySQL username is root and password that you want to type here. Okay, so now you are logged in with uh, in you are logged in with your PHP my admin. So here you can see that all the databases which are already created that is shown here. Okay, that you can see here. So now here you have to create a database. So here you can see that this is a new. So click on this new button. So it will ask for the database name. So here provide the name. That is I will provide here uh, student okay student student info this database name i will provide and then i will create um, click on the create button so after that it is asking for the table creation it is asking for the table name so provide the name that is student and here i am going to create nine columns so with the column count here and click on go so this will ask for the column names now so here provide your column name so by default the first column should be your id column so it should be auto increment okay then it will ask for the primary key permission so give the set the uh, id as a primary key here okay so now after that the next column that we want to create that is username so select the type var care and give the size that is length 255 then next is password so select the type wire then 255 size then first name then wire the size 255 then there is a last name then wire size 255 then after that gender so for gender i will just choose uh, Twenty size okay and uh, type text then email so I'll choose varcar two fifty five then after that course varcar so I'll use hundred only so 
so after that finally i will give, uh, give the name mobile okay so this will choose varcap as well and provide 20 size here so here this way we have created all the columns okay we have given the name of all the columns and their types and their sizes their lengths now click on this save button so it is it has created all the columns inside this table that is your table name is student table now you can click on you can click on on this table name now you can see this table is empty now you have to fill the data we have to insert the data with the help of uh, php here now we'll return back and now we'll go for the next step that is you have to create a database configuration file that is a database connection file so i'll create a file here so i'll go to file in the new file so i'll control s yes. then it is by default going into the path okay but if uh, if you don't see the path correct path just choose the path from this location from your file system and go to that your project directory okay now here i'll give the name of my database configuration file or database connection file is dbconnect.php okay so here how to write db uh, this database connection file so you know that your php code is starting from this tag okay so type this and here provide your database credentials so how that you can define with the help of define function so the uh, define function defines the constants and uh, define the constant so i'll provide the first constant name so db underscore server so my server is what that is localhost this is my first server uh, that is my server name then i will define second constant that is db username so i am having a username for my server also so i will use the root here okay so don't forget to enclose within quotes okay so after that i will use again define the db underscore password so we to give the password also so i will type my username password here so after that you have to provide your db name database name okay so that database name you can provide and you can store into db underscore name constant so your database name is student info semicolon okay so after this we'll do the connection okay we'll try to connect to a mysql database so we'll type here dollar call this variable i will define here and then i'll write mysql i underscore connect so this is the function to connect with the mysql database there i will type i will pass my these parameters db underscore server then db underscore username then db underscore password then db underscore name so all these parameters i have passed here because that are that are that are imported for mysql database connection now after that i will check whether my connection has been done or not so I'll, uh, use if condition here so dollar con is equal to equal to false whether it is having a false value or a true value that i will check if it is false then i will write this function here that is die it will show the error error that is could not connect so this is my error okay then after this i'll write i'll call the function that is mysql i underscore error underscore connect so this is the function that you have to write here okay sorry this is having mysql underscore connect underscore error okay so these this this is one of the important step in your assignment number four where you have to first uh, create a database connection file or database configuration file so the remaining portion will cover in next video so thank you for watching video don't forget to subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends with your colleagues okay so we'll meet in next video so thank you for watching video bye bye